Right, so today I am at Castle Coombe for a race day. Now, I haven't been here for quite a while, like 10 months maybe, so it's, it's nice to be back. I'm uh, just looking to be a pretty chill day. At the moment, there's Fiesta's racing on the track. We woke up for the um, Queen Square meet earlier and missed it because we woke up late at 10.15. So unfortunately, there wasn't a video for that as it wasn't worth going to the exit or anything. But you do get some good track action today. to the pits and take a look at some of the cars that are here. So we have a nice It would be really good for photos right now but I don't want to get my camera out in the rain. And then we have a Fiesta ST here and, and TC yes. Sport cars because I'm with him. On the road, Sitting pretty good. Cupra. Yeah, it's a Cupra. With the carbon mirrors, I think the real. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool and tidy. Do you think they're real? It's a wrap. Oh. Pretty nice. So here we have a really nice GT3. And another 911. Next to it, convertible. Caterham 420R. Pretty nice spec, I like this. Here we have a really nice cage type R. Looks pretty good, and we also have a C63 wagon. I think it's a C63S, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But a really nice spec. Yes, it is, Max. I'm not sure about the red stitching on this, but overall it's a really nice spec. Then there's an F430 here. It looks good with the yellow. The yellow and grey looks good. It's a manual. Pretty nice. Then we have an M140i here, I think. Yes. Good daily. Right, so we have just finished eating food. And there's like a cool wide bodyish transit thing. I'm not even keen on like transit like the M Sports and stuff, but Rattler does look pretty cool, to be fair. I actually really like that. That, that looks pretty cool, it's an MSRT. 
It's a nice MX-5 there, a Porsche Cayenne and a Tesla Model X, but we're going to go down here where all the caterums are. So there's a 620S, but not, not an R, unfortunately, because I really like the R's. So here we have a 944 Turbo with a little, like, colourful splittery thing. And here we have this. This is absolutely beautiful. It's an A86 and it's like, it's just such a nice colour with, like, nice dish rims. It's just beautiful. The interior is in really good condition. It's got a hydro. It's just awesome. Love this thing, it looks so mean at every angle. So so cool. Apart from it being dirty, it is in immaculate condition. And then there is a Clio RS here too. Right, so now we're gonna go walk around the track. Check out this BRZ here, which I quite like. You like a cool drift car, but they're a bit expensive. Yeah, two uh, boxers there. 981 and a 718. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fiesta. You like that Fiesta? Yes. There's an R53 as well, keep rest. There's nothing else really, apart from a Mercedes of an AMG badge, which shouldn't be there. If you put an AMG badge on your non-AMG, then you... Oh, down there, mate. Just down there. You're stepping on them. Or, if you put an M badge on your non-M, down there. But, if you put like a 316 Ti badge on your M4, you're all the way up there. Because you're a legend if you do that. What if you put a Z-Tech S badge on an ST? Oh, yeah, wait, wait. Really? Yeah. Because it's lower than it actually is. That means you're cool. Sleeper, innit? Yeah. Okay, th thanks for the talk. Escort on an M140i. Bit of a dead spec though. It doesn't even have the performance exhaust. How could they? An S1 with some red bits. Thanks for marshalling. There's a sticker on the side of it that says that. Yeah. Good luck, Marshall. Marshalls are good. Nice Alpina D4. I like this because, well, I like BMWs. This is pretty much a BMW, just a bit better. With some huge rims because that's their style. What do you think of the Al? Yeah, uh, I see it all the time. What do you think of it, though? Mm, yeah, so it's all right. Here we have a lovely non A4. Because that's the real name of them. Who oh, is also a uh, Marshall. And here we have a, a non standard VXR. It's got custom exhaust tips. It's had some tuning done to it. And it's got some nice wheels. Quite like these. They're, they're decent. They're decent, aren't they? There's. Is it a five cylinder? Yeah, 20 V turbo. A lovely five cylinder mobile. Okay. And again, another nice. new from Steve. And then Smith. What's that? A 125 Very DIY. Closing in on four place. Through they go with their wind speed wipers done. Again, coining your phrase here. So at the moment, we have. Um, Fiesta's racing, some different ones, and um, I don't really know much about racing. 23's closing in. Griffith 500 with a big old diffuser. Uh, 
had another big old diffuser and uh, a thing. I'm not sure what that is. Would you rather have the Peugeot 206cc or the Griffith? What do you think? Uh, the Transporter. Nah, I'd rather have the uh, Hilux. I thought so. But this CRV has a picnic table in it, so... Is it? Yeah, it comes standard with a picnic table. Really? Yeah. Right here we have a nice Volvo Focus ST. Um, a Griffith and a Tuscan. I quite like the colour on this and they sound absolutely awesome. He's just had it. Uh, up Dean straight in the uh, We can take the checker flag in 8th place, which will be useful points in the championship. First one's best lap of the race. Mini John Cook works. Another Fiesta ST. And then uh, there's a Golf GTI or a nice Panamera. A new one looks like a, maybe a Sport Turismo. I don't, I, don't, I don't know, but at the moment the TVRs are racing. It's like a weird, a weird thing here. Yeah, I'm not actually sure what that is, but it, it's just odd. There's a clover leaf thing here. And some bits, they almost collided. Oh, that's a trash, but it's a collide. Turn on my phone and there's some racing. I thought that I was about to say that Matthew Holman, the golf livery number 15, So we are now at the skid pan, um, but they aren't doing many skids. There's a front wheel drive focus, I'm not really sure what that's doing. And there is a, th what is it, 318? 316 or 318, um, BMW 36 doing some, uh, trying to drive. And there's a little boy on a scooter. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try and record some skid action. Um, yeah, you haven't done that, mate. Oh, um, she did it. She did it a little bit. She needs to uh, clutch kick a little bit. Get that rear end round. Um, I'm not sure what this focus is doing. Oh dear. Almost. She almost had it. It's a 318 eye. Alright then, let's see if she's uh, got got it. Come on, follow me, let's go. Wait, oh, oh! Oh! Oh, is she gonna spin it around? I think she stalled and now she doesn't even know how to start. No, nope, she's she's reversing. Oh right, I've got a yeah. Thomas Thomas's mum is here to pick us up. I'm watching drifting. Go on, send it. She didn't send it. Yeah, yeah, she did, kind of. It's really weird, I'm not sure if he like, even has an LSD or anything. But I'm also not sure what the focus is doing because it's just understeering. Right, so me and Tom are on our way home now. We're gonna go get in the whip. But it's been okay here. Uh, see, racing isn't really my kind of thing unless you like, like 
at a track day with like friends or, or whatever but um, there's still something to do I guess but now we're going down to Tom's Meet down Avon Mead, so I should be doing a video on that but I'll see you guys in that video